is the Taz Show. Yeah, yeah. Talking wrestling, sports, and beyond. Where is your frigging champion? <laughs> Where is Drew McIntyre? Well, instead of putting all that time in her, in her package, how about doing a Drew McIntyre package? Or have Drew do a promo in the ring or backstage and acknowledge that uh, 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 Adam Cole and Bobby Fish and O'Reilly beat his ass weeks ago and he's yet to get a receipt, as, as you would call it. Like, where, where, where why? <clears throat> where, where's McIntyre? Put time into him. He's your champ. <laughs> How many weeks has it been since TakeOver? What's it been? That was four weeks? Yeah, SummerSlam weekend was the end of August. It's at least three, and it's probably coming up on four weeks this weekend. I got a problem with the way they're, they're, they're marketing him uh, once he became champ. That's my problem. I, I need to see him. I need to hear from him. I need to hear what's going through his mind. I need to see him beat the shit out of at least one of those guys in uh, Undisputed. What are they called? The, uh, Undisputed or something like that? Undisputed crew? The, the Undisputed, like that. Undisputed Era. Okay, which I think is a cool name for O'Reilly, Fish, and Cole. I need to see him do something. He needs to get some sort of a receipt. Now, I, look, I know Triple H and the crew there at NXT, they're dealing with only one hour. So you have to try and fit, you know, five pounds of bologna in a two-pound bag, okay? I think, and I, I did pitch a pretty good idea out here, what they could have and should have done because the table was set during the Pete Dunn-Wolfgang match where you had Percy Watson, uh, who's, at my, at my frank, honest opinion, still struggling a little bit on commentary. Um, I'll get into that in a second. You had, you had Pete Dunne, I'm sorry, you had uh, uh, um, Percy Watson saying that Wolfgang was trained uh, partially by, uh, in the past, by Drew McIntyre. Well, that would have been a great opportunity to have Drew McIntyre on color commentary during that match. He's a new NXT champ. He puts over the, the UK championship, endorses that a little bit, Puts over Wolfgang because he helped train him. Says something about Pete Dunn because the guy's a tremendous competitor. Uh, and then gets his shots in here and there about the undisputed era that, he, you know, these guys, are they're snakes, they're attacking, they're doing this. William Regal said no more attacks, and I'm going to get my hands on one of those guys. Ba 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 ba. And then once they do the run-in on freaking, um, on, on the match, on Pete Dunn and Wolfgang at the end of the match, after Pete Dunn won, that's when you have... <laughs> Drew McIntyre leaves the announce desk, and he attacks the Undisputed Era and starts beating the piss piss at them, and then the numbers games takes over, and they beat up McIntyre again. And William Regal next week has finally had enough. That's it. I'm putting you over the match. We're doing something, whatever. Because he's threatened the Undisputed Era, Cole, O'Reilly, and uh, Fish already. He told them, I need matches. You can't be doing run-ins, and they did it again. So... I'm sure we'll hear next week from William Regal something, but Jiminy Crickets, I got to see the NXT champion. Give me something. Give me something with this guy. 